All right, Femi Fems, let's get us another message. Let's see what the Holy Spirit just wants us to know, what the cards are here to reveal to you. Take your love, vitamin. Thank you all so very much for your love and support to the channel. Yeah. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine, what do they need to know? Divine Feminine, what do they need to know? Divine Feminine, what do they need to know? Holy Spirit, ooh inspiration you're getting ready to be inspired to do something um the angels are getting ready to visit you uh, i also see goddess energy um you need to embrace more of your goddess goddess energy be bold be um be courageous something you're getting ready to be inspired to do something different and this could be where you're being guided to um change the way you act change the way you talk change the way you look or there this is this is something very specific the angels are urging you to take note of let's take a look let's use the tarot cards holy spirit what's the inspiration what's the inspiration holy spirit what's the inspiration holy spirit um, I also hear visitation. Now, some of you all are getting ready to encounter angels. Uh, inspiration. Okay, so some there's been obstacles in your way. Something or someone that's been trying to create um create some sort of delays in your life. Oh, the spirit of delay. So somebody here is like you know you may you know you ever heard that saying can't get right on that movie life that guy his name can't get right so it's like you know you couldn't get something right something was spiritually um obstructing you so there were obstacles in your way somebody has sent the spirit of delay around you to kind of hold you up make you frustrated something was meant to make you feel uninspired something was meant to make you feel bothered something was meant to make you feel disappointed so this could be some of you all a spiritual attack that was sent out and assigned to you whether it be your dealing with your emotions or whether it be something that you were trying to accomplish and or achieve in life lauren hill is lauren hill is here so there was something meant to try to obstruct you from achieving 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 and or obtaining your goals i see that you're getting ready to be released from this energy and the spirit because look at here the ten of pentacles so what the holy spirit is doing is telling you to pay attention to your angels why because your angels are going to always form forewarn you but they will also inform you of what you should be doing now this could be something that was trying to tarnish your reputation or make you feel like you know how am i going to work your 10th house your 10th house is dealing with your work your career to give you obsessive thoughts you were being obstructed um spiritually and delayed spiritually so that you're not able to manifest somebody here does not want to see you have a stable life of course that's always people that are on this earth but there's an angel the ministry of angels are around you to minister to you to speak to you to help you get this ten of pentacles some of you all there could be spiritual warfare in your families now some of you all are under spiritual attack others of you all it's like your family they could be chaos the angels are gonna are gonna help you settle something you know bring peace to a situation now this could be something um generationally that's been occurring whether it's a generational curse a generational tie but there's a barrier here the ten of pentacle also shows me the ultimate fulfillment. Some, some, you're, I hear tax bracket. Somebody here this year, you're going to be in a different tax bracket. Um, it may happen. I'm, I'm seeing the, the third and the fourth quarter. So going towards the end of the year, the angels are going to help you make up for lost time, so to speak. Um, I'm not going to say God doesn't give us back what we miss out on but what i'm saying is there's going to be double portion for someone here double for their trouble because you've been spiritually object ob objected spiritually disturbed spiritual obstacles spiritually bothered see the justice card here something is going to balance out and it's going to be fair but you just need to stay courageous you just need to stay bold right now you may not be seeing yourself the way you really need and the way you need to but they're trying to help you see who you are and what you are and where you need to go that's not i don't know um who needs to hear this 
But spiritual warfare is a part of life. It helps us stay on our toes. Spiritual attacks try to make us feel like, you know, we're all over the place or make us feel like we're going to be nothing but a disappointment or a situation is going to be nothing but disappointment. But see right here, something great is not going to happen to you. Not just good, but great. The scales are going to balance. Some of you all, your money will be replenished. Don't even worry about that. Others of you all, you're going to have restoration in your family. Others of you all, you may have hit, taken a hit with your reputation but it's going to balance out you know how we use that term make it make sense it's going to make sense the angels have been trying to communicate with you to tell you stay encouraged you are um you may be feeling discouraged right now but in due time it's going to make sense give me the four of cups see here the judgment card angels are always watching over us there's no mistake about it. Now, this could be some of you all trying to pull out skeletons in your closet. So this could be like accusations, you being persecuted. Um, I know nobody ain't trying to persecute y'all. Tell these people to kick rocks and drop what they, and I hope they, yeah, take their dang little socks off when they kick them rocks. This is some sort of persecution or some sort of skeleton. Somebody here thought this is going to keep you from doing something. Yep. See, the spirit of delay is among you and the spirit of confusion. This right here is a spiritual attack for whoever resonates with this. But what's actually going to go, go on is things are going to subside. But your angels are really trying to help you be at peace and just stay level-headed. Also, some of you all, you, you may need to get some rest because these obstacles, something here is obstructing your sleep pattern. And you're, that's probably why you're not getting the messages clearly nor precisely. This is a spiritual inheritance coming to someone, but some of you are also there is going to materialize into a physical inheritance. Whatever's going on behind the scenes, trust and believe. They know it. They see it. All right. What's the Ten of Pentacles here for the Divine Feminine? Yep, the eight of wands. It's gonna it's gonna take off. This this could happen in the next eight weeks. By the eighth month, you're gonna be in a much better place. Cause see, something here is crucial here. Now, some of you all are definitely under attack. Others of you all that you know the difference between attacks and warfare, you need to know a hard cycle is over, and you gotta tune in to your spirit. Now, the Queen of Wands, she ain't never scared. Now here she ain't never scared. They ain't never scared. We have to pop that trunk and let people know it is what it is so this is the holy spirit saying all right you got a backbone you got to use it you got two feet stand on it stand on business you can't you can't cry about it you know you may have to cry and then you know get confident all over again but just know everything is going to work out work out work out all right i was hearing that song naughty by nature everything is going to be all right everything is going to be all right but this is where some of you all are having to learn how to persevere and persevere through spiritual attacks. And some of you all learn the difference between spiritual attacks and spiritual warfare. There's an attack on your family. And some of you all, that's also what's going on why the obstacles have been occurring to delay you from getting and materializing your family that's rightfully yours. This could be marriage, relationship, companionship, and things of that nature. But the justice card is here. See here? The Empress card, divine feminine energy. You about to step in the room and everybody going to see. And they're going to know who you are. And they're going to know who you are. But you need to use that Queen of Wands energy here. A whole lot of boldness, a whole lot of confidence, and a whole lot of toughness. This is where this season right here, you got to have tough skin. All right, what's the Justice card, Holy Spirit? Ooh. The Prince of Cups. The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Something definitely going on behind the scenes, honey. But, ooh, the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups. But those of you all dealing with relationship issues with people that are that try to obstruct you manifesting and materializing something, um, God is getting ready to level the scales on that. And not only level the scales, but if you've been accused, because I'm hearing the word accusatory, if, something, if a person has been accusing you of something, People are going to see the guilty hands. They will hear the guilty mouths. They will see the ones that have been doing things or trying to do things behind the scenes. Because I feel like a person has been trying to make you look a certain type of way. And I also feel like there's been some wrongful um, 
wrongful accusations, wrongful doings, or, or something like that. There's a spiritual investigation going on, but it's going to materialize a peaceful outcome. Others of you all need to say this right here. If you're dealing with legal issues, be on your, stay on your toes. Don't get too comfortable around people because some people want to take you down and take you completely out. The star card here is bringing you a power, not only a power on this earth, but a power that's above. Let's pull the angel's card to close this out. This is a message all about um, spiritual attacks and spiritual warfare. Um, the spirit of delay and the spirit of confusion. I, I feel like somebody here is also trying to psychic attack someone that's playing on your mind, playing, I was just going to say, playing on your knowledge, goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. Some of you all, when you're going through these attacks, your intuition seems a little off. You second guess yourself. But when you feel inspired to do something, get it done. When you feel that um, peaceful energy around you and something is saying, hey, won't you do this or don't go this route, go this route. Hey, talk, don't talk to this person today because they're going to distract you because you have many distractions to confuse you. So God is separating you from some people, or just pulling people um, out. And sometimes it can be some of the smallest and simplest things i also just heard rolled rage be aware and be careful careful of that see the goddess of justice something is getting ready to happen and something is going on with or around a union what people thought they were going to stop they're not going to stop people that have been causing havoc in your families somebody here is going to be known as a troublemaker a trouble starter especially in this family arena but those of you all going through these lawsuits because i hear lawsuits i hear civil um suits um these legal issues stay on your toes and just be aware and mindful of who you interact and or talk to everybody that looks friendly is not friendly you could have an undertone of a monitoring spirit around you which is a person being nosy trying to you know find out what's going on and take something back or to bring a bone and the bone is the bone of confusion and the bone of distraction there's also something going on with the phone because i keep seeing the phone picking up hanging up somebody you need to get off the phone and stay off the phone with a person stop telling them so much of what you're doing and what you're planning that's why your plans aren't working out because someone here is trying to abort delay or derail your um, destiny, your assignment, and your purpose. Peace and blessings, fans. I hope this helped. Great. They love you all so much. Namaste.